This is water figwort growing in here and figworts and mullanes of the bascoms are the food plant for a certain moth. So if you grow these you almost certainly see the, you won't see the moth, the moth looks just like a bit of wood chip and it's hidden away uh, during the daytime but you'll certainly see the caterpillars and here's one here. Beautiful sort of pale, almost sort of slightly greenish blue under, under parts uh, and then it's marked, so its ground colour is marked with splashes of yellow with black dots and little stripes and they actually demolish the plants you get sometimes you get hundreds of these things just there on a patch one patch of food plant and you can see here this one's munched all the leaves of this figwort and it's working its way down the stem and it will probably eat most of the plant and if you get several on it they can just uh, demolish all the all the flowers uh, but the plant will once the caterpillar's pupated it will pupate in a tough wooden a uh, tough uh, soil cocoon i mean down in the soil and then the uh, moth will emerge next M May time and lay its eggs on the, on the food plant again. That's the mullein moth. Now there's two kinds of burnet moth which you'll see around the meadows at this time of year. One, and they're easy to identify, one has five spots called a five spot burnet like this one here and the other one is the six spotted burnet. They both feed on uh, bird's foot trefoil. This one feeds on greater bird's foot trefoil so it likes damper meadows like this one here and the common one feeds on common birds with trefoil and other clovers as well uh, and it prefers drier situations. A beautiful colour, sort of blue, dark green blue colour with these sort of crimson red spots on and quite a furry thorax with these sort of clubbed antennae. Uh, it is a moth, although it's a day flying moth and it has clubbed antennae. Uh, I often get asked what's the difference between a butterfly and a moth and really there isn't much. Uh, which, which is why it's so difficult to describe really. Um, one, of the, one of the reasons, one suggestion is that uh, butterflies all have clubbed antennae and fly during the day, but this is a moth which has clubbed antennae and it flies during the day. Uh, so it is actually, butterflies and moths are all part of Lepidoptera, so they're all really the same thing. The way you get burnet moths, you quite often get this moth, the burnet companion, uh, another day flying moth. Uh, quite a sort of dull brown with slightly orange hind wings and it feeds on birds that trefoil as well uh, so you'll find it in the same sort of patches as the burnet moth. You see one here. Um, you tend to get these, they're, they're quite common across the moor in various grasslands. Uh, they fly a little way but if you follow them they'll soon settle and they'll sit down in the grass. Uh, beautiful little things. Uh, so one, one worth looking out for. There's another one uh, which you also see which also feeds on on birds at trefoils, which is called the Mother Shipton. And uh, this one is one of my favourite moths. If you look closely at the wings, it looks like there's two witches with big hooked noses talking to each other across the, the wings of the moth. And the moth's named after the prophetess Mother Shipton. I think she was from Yorkshire.